This is history, from the early days of the Army Air Corps to the present. What started out as a one-time event has grown in popularity and demands, and in 2010, the Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation joined with the United States Air Force to keep this popular program flying. And now Heritage Flights are performed at air shows and special events in the United States and around the world.
way, he will decelerate to about 150 miles per hour, enabling the F-16 to stop at less than 3,000 feet if necessary. Add its ability to take off from relatively short runways, and you have a fighter that can operate from thousands of airfields in virtually every country in the world. While today's demonstration shows you how well the F-16 can maneuver in combat, what we cannot show is its striking power or the accuracy and lethality of the weapons it carries. The fighter can hit targets well outside of visual range while traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coupled with innovative, motivated, versatile, and adaptable airmen, your United States Air Force F-16 Fighting Falcon is applying new technologies and capabilities never before seen on a fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's demonstration. We hope you have enjoyed this great display of only a fraction of the F-16's full combat capability. As an integral part of the most capable Air Force the world has ever known, your F-16 fibers are ready to defend our nation's skies and dominate the battle space anytime, anywhere on the globe. Ready to aim high, fly, fight, and win. In the past year alone, your United States Air Force flew over 200,000 hours supporting operations overseas. As proud members of an all-volunteer Air Force, we hope our performance has inspired you to serve your country alongside the professional men and women you see here in action today. Either flying in the cockpit of 16 or on the ground guaranteeing its readiness to fight. If interested, find a member of any Air Force demo team or your local Air Force Reserve, National Guard, or active duty recruiter. Any of these Air Force warriors will answer any questions you have and help you set your course for an amazing Air Force career. If interested in joining today's premier aerospace based team, please stop by and see us at the Viper Demo booth located behind the show center. On behalf of the United States Air Force, the Commander of Air Combat Command, General Hawk Carlisle, and all the men and women of Air Combat Command, we thank you for your attendance today. And we thank you for your patriotism and continued support. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for our F-16 Viper demonstration team. The Golden Tones of Master Sergeant Aaron Smith. Jim Beasley now coming into land at the P-51. He's touching down on the left side of the field. Listen, we, we have a really special treat for you. We told you earlier today about this World War II veteran who is, is flying today with uh, Lieutenant Colonel John Platt. I wonder if we can go live to the cockpit there with uh, John. We'll see if we can't uh, see if we can't raise him up there. Maybe momentarily. But Carl Pedersen, a U.S. Navy veteran from D-Day, this gentleman also served three tours in the Pacific, two tours as well in Korea and Vietnam. He's flying right now with John Clad in a little MX. Or I believe it's the extra. From the left, John Black, and Carl Pedersen, our U.S. Navy veteran. Give him a big wave as he comes by. Again, ladies and gentlemen, a D-Day veteran, now airborne with John Clatt. This is his pass, so give him a huge wave. Let him know how much you appreciate his service and all of our World War II vets who are here with us today. He won the lucky ticket. Three Pacific tours, two tours in Korea and Vietnam, as well as a surviving D-Day veteran. Here with us today. Our thanks to Carl and to uh, John for being here today and making that happen. Gonna come in and land. Within a few seconds, a taxi behind the F-16. We'll be in the box momentarily. Right here in front of us, we'll see your United States Air Force F-16, the Piper. Mustang will be back in the center stage as well. I believe Jim Beasley will be bringing it back down. on the left here, the National Guard, extra 300. Get on board our World War II veteran today. Look at this, John's gonna set it down right at show center. 
going to hold it off and hold it off and hold it off and touchdown. But John Flat. And the Air National Guard, it's extra 300 there. A great thing he's doing there today, flying uh, that World War II bet. Up next, John D. Tucker, the Oracle Challenger, as well as the CF-18, plus Rob Holland, the reigning World Peace Out here about a champion. He's here to fly 32 to 32 at Riverwood. The Royal United States Navy Blue Angels represent. The Air Boss is cleared in. Sean D. Tucker and Team Oracle. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineered to work together. Oracle simplifies IT while delivering extreme performance at the lowest cost. Complete business and technology solutions in the cloud. 